Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to give you three Lightroom tricks you may not know about. We're going to jump right into it with the first trick. And this is actually related to a video I did yesterday. Yesterday I did a video, three Photoshop tricks you may not know about. And one of those tricks I taught in that video for Photoshop also works in Lightroom. This will work with the radio filter, the graduated filter, and the brush, as well as split toning. Wherever there is a color picker involved, you could do this trick. Now on this image, I put a graduated filter on it. It's right there. Now let's say I want to give it a little bit of a color tint to it. Well, I would go down here to the bottom where it says color, and I'd click on this little rectangle, and I could pick anywhere with the eyedropper inside of this box to tone this color, this, this picture, the color I click on, right? And you may know this. If I want to pick a color in the image, uh, you'll notice when I come off the color picker, the eyedropper goes away. Well, what you could do is you could click with the left mouse button inside of this rectangle, then just keep that left mouse button clicked in, and then you could drag over the image. And then you could pick a color in the image if you like. Well, that isn't really the trick, all right? The trick is, let me reset this. The trick is you could actually pick a color outside of Lightroom. Now to do that, just get Lightroom out of the way. Now when I get Lightroom out of the way, you'll notice underneath I have my image viewer open with an image. It's a sunset. I want to pick a color from this image. Well, to do it again, open the color picker in Lightroom. Get inside of this rectangle, click with the left mouse button, and leave the left mouse button clicked in. And then come outside of Lightroom, and you'll see the eyedropper stays active. And you can see as I move around this image, if you look at that color picker, you'll see the colors changing. And you don't have to be on an image in an image viewer. You could be on your desktop. You can see I'll go a little piece of my desktop left up here, and you can see it's up there. I could even go like up at the top. Anywhere, anywhere outside of Lightroom. And let's say I want to tone it with this sunset color right there. And I'll let go, and you can see it gets toned with that color. So that is tip number one. You could use any color picker that's in Lightroom and pick a color outside of Lightroom. And you could be able to tone your image uh, very creative, creatively. Creatively? You know what I mean. You'll be able to use this tool to your advantage. All right, number two. Let's go right to number two, and it still has to do with the graduated filter. You probably know this. Uh, I have this graduated filter on, and let's say I just wanted to flip it, right? I just wanted to flip it so the top is on the bottom and the bottom is on the top. You could just grab one of the outside handles, and you could just kind of fold it up. But you can see what happens when I do that. The center line moves. See how the center line moves? Well, you don't want the center line to move. Hold the Alt Option key in. Alt if you have PC, Option if you have a Mac. Click on that outside line, and you can see you'll just rotate around that middle line. Now, why you might want to do this? Well, you put on a graduated filter for the sky, and maybe you want to add a graduated filter for everything below the sky, and you want it exactly where this filter is. Well, what you could do is you could right-click on the filter, or on that little button, click on Duplicate. Now, we actually have two graduated filters, one on top of the other. Well, I want to flip the one. So all I need to do is hold that alter option key, click on that bottom line, and flip it. Just like that. Now I have one graduated filter on the top, one graduated filter on the bottom. Right now, the bottom graduated filter is active. I could just separate it a little bit if I want to, just like that. Look at that. And there's the two of them side by side now. And I could then affect this bottom one. I could, let's say, get rid of the color, right? And just like that. So it's really very powerful uh, little, I guess, uh, way you could utilize the graduated filter. Now I'm going to get rid of that bottom one to show you our last trick. All right, let's say um, I put on this graduated filter. Let's, for the sake of argument, let's, let's bring that down so you definitely could see the graduated filter. If you want to kind of either add more of the adjustments or less of the adjustments, what you could do is you could just go over this little button while you hold in the alter option key. You see how this uh, cursor turns in? I don't want that um, mask to come on. You can see how the cursor turns into 
a horizontal line with a double arrow with a vertical line uh, between it, that's encouraging you to drag left or right. And when you do that, you'll notice, look at the sliders on the, on the, on the right. You see how we're reducing everything or we're increasing everything? All that could be done just like that. So if you put on a graduated filter and it looks a little too heavy and you want to back it off, just go right over that little button, hold the Alter Option key in, and you could drag left or right and adjust the strength of the entire filter. That little trick works with the radio filter and brush as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.